Hey, Rob and Lock with Harness, and today we're going to be taking a look at Helm V3 and your first Helm V3 deployment using Harness. To take a jog down memory lane, what is Helm? Helm is a, Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. For example, other package managers like Homebrew on your Mac or RPM in your Linux distribution or even Chocolate and Windows are all examples of package managers. Uh, recently, we've completed a three-part blog series using Helm. Now, in this particular three-part blog series that we had that we released in December 2019, this is actually Helm V2. One of the key differences between Helm V2 and Helm V3 is the use of something called Tiller, or the lack of use of something called Tiller in Helm V3. Tiller is an elevated pod, which is basically a job runner for your Helm charts. Now, in Helm V3, there's no need for Tiller. So let's go ahead and get started in our example. In our previous example, in the three-part blog series, we needed a few pieces of infrastructure, such as a Linux instance and also a Kubernetes cluster. But in this example, since we're using Helm v3, we're going to simplify this. All we have to do is have an awaiting Kubernetes cluster. Here I have, I'm using Amazon EKS. I made a cluster called Helm in a Handbasket. And this is going to be primarily our main piece of infrastructure that we're going to be using. And so what the first thing we're going to do, is we need to actually install a harness delegate uh, we're going to use a Kubernetes delegate in this case. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to go to the Harness dashboard. I have no delegates installed. I'm going to go to Setup. We're going to come down to Harness Delegates. And then we're going to download a delegate. And we're going to go ahead and download a Kubernetes YAML. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a name uh, for this delegate called Helm. So this is going to be the name that's uh, pre-appended here. So I don't have a profile yet. We'll get into that a little bit later. Click Submit. And that's actually going to be downloaded for us. Once we have that downloaded, all we have to do is unpack the tar here. And here's our folder that's been unpacked. Uh, there's two files. There's a readme and harness delegate.yaml. Uh, to install the harness delegate on the Kubernetes cluster, actually, the command is given for us here in the text file. So all we have to do is copy this and actually run it. So let's go ahead and grab terminal, which I already have kubectl wired in. Uh, let's go ahead and cd into the folder that we have here uh, to make sure we're in the same folder. And then let's run the kubectl. And that's going to go ahead and get started for us. After a few moments, uh, the delegate registers itself with Harness. And so this is absolutely perfect. Uh, the next step now that we have this delegate, let's go ahead and get Helm v3 installed on the delegate. Um, if you take a look at the installation steps here, um, the Helm project actually has a pretty nice helper script for us. And so what we can do, uh, we can actually load this particular script um, into a Harness delegate profile. And so with the Harness delegate profile, what that means is that we can actually, when the profile comes up, uh, these particular commands can be run. So let's go ahead and add a particular profile for this. So if we take a quick look for manage delegate profile, let's go ahead and add a delegate profile. Let's just call this Helm v3 install, the same description. And the script that was from the Helm documentation, we can go ahead and paste that in, click submit. And now let's go ahead and run the profile here. This might take a few minutes to complete. So after a few minutes, it looks like we're successfully installed the Helm v3 pieces that we need. If you take a look at the logs, uh, it looks like it's perfect. It executed the shell script and installed uh, the Helm the client on our delegate. So the next step we need to do now is we need to actually wire our Helm in a handbasket Kubernetes cluster uh, into Harness. So to do that, pretty simple. If you go back to setup, cloud providers, let's go ahead and add a cloud provider. And we're going to add a cloud provider, which is a Kubernetes cluster. And we're going to go ahead and insert all the details that we needed. So we have an API server endpoint, which is the master URL. And also we have a certificate authority, which is our CA here. With all the prudent details filled out, let's go ahead and click submit. And now we have the ability to interact with the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, now, time for the more harness specific steps. So we actually don't have any application set up. So an application is basically the unit of work that you'll be doing. And so let's go to add an application. Uh, let's actually call this Helm in a Handbasket. I make the same description. Click Submit. So we're going to fill in all the p particular harness pieces. Imagine just as a, a, a if you're a painter, a p palette of anything that you want to color. Uh, but before that, let's go ahead and set up a Helm repository. Um, from the third part of our blog series, we're using, actually the first and third part of our blog series, we're using a Bitnami chart. And so let's go ahead and wire uh, our Bitnami repository as a repo that Harness can leverage. 
Uh, to accomplish that, if you go to connectors and then artifact servers, let's go ahead and add the Bitnami endpoint for us. So uh, it's going to be a, a Helm repository. Uh, There's the same name. Let's just call it uh, Bitnami. And the address is charts.bitnami.com slash Bitnami. Uh, there's no user and password. Click submit. And now we should have access to the repository. Uh, with that wired up, let's go back into our application. And let's actually, let's go ahead and let's, let's create the service that we need. So there's no service. Let's add a service. Uh, this is called the Spitnami Nginx. Our deployment type is going to be Helm. And we're going to head and uh, enable Helm v3 for this deployment type. Uh, click submit. And so all we need to do now is add our chart specification. And by adding our chart specification, we're going to be going back to our Bitnami chart. Uh, the chart name will be Nginx, and the version of this will be a version 5.1.4, which is the latest at the time of this particular video. Click Submit. And so our chart specification should be wired up there for us. So once we have that wired up, let's go back and actually create an environment. And so, so if you have, don't have an environment, uh, click Add Environment. Let's make one called Dev. And description will be Dev. This is a non-production environment. Let's go ahead and create that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is need to wire up our infrastructure definition, uh, which will be, let's just call, we need a hand basket for our helm. So let's just call it helm hand basket. Uh, it's going to be a, we're going to be deploying to a Kubernetes cluster, uh, which is a helm deployment type. And since we already have our Kubernetes cluster, which is called Kubernetes cluster, we'll just use that. Um, the default namespace for now is fine. Go ahead and click submit. And we should have our environment all wired up for us. With the environment out of the way, let's go ahead and make a workflow. And so this is what we're here for. Let's, let's see a canary. So add a workflow. Let's just call our workflow Nginx Helm. And let's just say go for canary goodness. Uh, our workflow type will be a canary deployment. And our environment's going to be dev. So we hit click submit. And then for our deployment phase, let's go ahead and add a particular phase. Uh, our, we're going to be deploying to our Helm and Ham Biscuit infrastructure definition, click Submit. And then our Helm deploy phase, we'll go ahead and get that filled out. Now we have to give a release name. Helm is uh, also a release manager. So in our case, let's just call this My Helm Release since we're just doing this for an example. Uh, go ahead and click Submit. And so our Canary phase is set up. Our particular workflow here is set up. And so this looks pretty good. We could add another phase if we wanted to. Uh, for, for example sakes, uh, we'll keep it pretty simple. Uh, the last thing we want to do, we want to wrap our workflow in a pipeline. And so if we go to pipeline, um, add a pipeline, uh, we can call this Helm pipeline. And go ahead and click submit. And we're going to add a pipeline stage. Uh, let's just call this go for, go for gold. And we're going to be executing our Nginx Helm pipe uh, workflow. Click submit. Perfect, you have a one stage pipeline. And now it's time for the fun part. Let's go ahead and run it. To run our workload pipeline just created, let's just go ahead and click on continuous deployment. Let's go ahead and start a new deployment and we're going to be deploying Helm in a hand basket. Um, here's our Helm pipeline that we just created. Uh, enter notes, let's just say, hello, Helm v v3. And not to blast everybody, well, it's only me in the account, uh, send notifications to me only. Let's go ahead and click submit. And now we can watch all the magic happen here. This will actually go through its one phase canary approach. And let's uh, wait for this to complete. So it actually completed very quickly. Uh, we actually deployed our containers here. If we, we can take a look back at the particular log files that we had uh, for it to run, looks like it's great. Uh, and we can actually pop back into our Kubernetes dashboard and see that our release that uh, we just had here is running. So my Helm release, perfect. And with that, we've actually just ran through your very first Helm v3 deployment using Harness. I hope this was helpful. And like always, stay tuned for future blog posts and videos that we have. Cheers, Robbie.